This place looks like a nice spot. Some little pools. Some deeper pools here. Yeah, let's see what we can find here. All right, let's fill this bucket up with some water. Here, so when we do catch something, we'll have a bucket to put it in. Just got these leaves here. There we go. It's a little piece of cattail. All right. Let's put our bucket. Let's put our bucket right over here. As you know, normally I would have brought my big net, but it's kind of hard, hard to bike with the big net, so I'm going to be using this little one here. All right. I'll see you when I find something. I like to scoop around these little pools here. You commonly find things. Oh, got one. Wow, check it out. Oh my god, we got ourselves a little tap hole. This is really weird to find a tap hole here. It's like a, basically like a little marshland. The water's not very deep either. Let's put them in. First little tadpole, or froglet, I guess. In he goes. We have our next tadpole right here. Might have to use my net for this one. But let's see him in that. Here we got him, I think. Yep, we got him. Right there. All right. We have ourselves another little bullfrog tadpole. Oh, there we go. bucket right here. There's a little tadpole. You go buddy. Be free. So yeah we have our two tadpoles so far. Let's see what else we can find. All right I'm just gonna be looking around here. We're right next to like a biking path trail. Let's see. And you never know what you'll find. Ow. All right. Like I like these little ecosystems because it's like a perfect little micro habitat for different animals. One animal that people underrate is all the tiny microscopic life you see. Like, it's kind of hard to see with the lens, but there's some leeches swimming around, and also there's these tiny little insects. Uh, I forget the name of them, but you can kind of see them moving around. This tadpole is really easy to spot. We're just sitting here on the top of the water. We got him. Yep, we got him. There he is. Whoa, he's huge. Put him over the bucket here. Wow. Let's check this out, guys. This might be the largest tadpole I have ever seen. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to bring this guy home and measure him. He is, he's huge. Now, the good example of these, on larger tadpoles like this, is do you see that little mouth? So these are detritivores, which means they eat, like, detritus, which is, like, dead things. Now that mouth right there with all those little hairs on it is perfect for, like, sucking down, um, like, algae and stuff. I'm gonna keep them moist, not to get them too much, but let's put them in the bucket. There are three other little tadpoles here. There they are. Alright, let's see what else we can find. So far we found only tadpoles, but that's a good start. I don't think we got anything. Oh my god, we got a tadpole! Sweet! Little legs right here. Bye, buddy. Be free. Be free, little buddy. Come on. Swim along. I don't think he wants to go anywhere. Just gonna hang there. Alright, let's release that. Let's release this little dude. He's eager to go. No, not there. Go into the water. Be free. All right, here's the big one. Let's get a good close-up look at him. Here he is. Sunlight's bad on this. Let's see. Behold. This might as well be the largest tadpole I have ever seen. He's huge. Let's put him back in the bucket and let's go. You go, buddy. This is a really, really beautiful place, honestly.
ready to go. Put my stuff here in the bucket. Let's just walk back to the bike. Alrighty, this guy right here. Well, I measured him earlier, and he's a whopping 6.2 inches long. That's huge for a Colorado tadpole, I'm telling you. All right, I'm gonna go release this little guy, or big guy, I should say. And yeah, all right, let's go release him. Alrighty, just I was coming up to the road. This guy right here decided to cross. This guy is a bull snake. Now you can see bull snakes are not like threatening. I mean, they can rattle sometimes. Oop. Perfect example right there. See his tail rattling. They mimic to look like rattlesnakes. Let's bring this guy across the road here. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Alright. Bring him over here. I'm gonna make a video clip quickly and then we will. Really Sorry if the camera's a little crooked. Uh, it's because I put the camera stand up in the tree. So I could record this guy. This right here is a bull snake, uh, Pituophis katana for Sei. Now I think that's pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. So this little guy was trying to cross the path. Now they often get hit by bikes or cars, depending on what they're crossing, uh, when they're crossing. So make sure if you know what species of snake it is, and you know it's non-venomous, uh, make sure to help it cross the road. Now these little guys are a very, uh, from what I've understood, intelligent species of snake. Um, and they're very great, they're good climbers too. Like I've caught some pretty big ones in trees before, and like when they were like trying to climb up the tree, so I had to like run after him and grab him. But anyways, so these guys uh, commonly eat things like birds, I've seen them a lot do that, uh, rodents, and occasionally other snakes. Now sometimes I even see them getting hit when they're hit by cars, and inside their belly you can see that they had eaten a prairie dog. These snakes are a very good species of snakes to have around, because they'll, sorry people are watching, because they'll um, eat things, oh it's coming out of my hat, they'll eat like all your pests and rodents and stuff like that. Now. Yeah, if I can turn him around. There he is. Uh, it's a very inquisitive species. Uh, it just comes across the camera. Wow. All right. But yeah, this is the first one of the season I've found so far. Uh, there's hopefully plenty more to come out. I've found a few garter snakes already. But yeah, it's the garter or bull snake. All right. Um, let's bring him back to where he was crossing to and release him. Whoa, camera almost fell down. Be free guy.